a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Or rather, not so long ago, in a place closer than you think. In this video, I hope to show you the similarities between Star Wars and the First World War. I will not discuss the content of the whole saga, but only the first installment, Episode 4, A New Hope. The inspiration for this film has several sources, and I left some links in the description for you. First, the weapons. This is Han Solo DL-44 Heavy Blaster Pistol. If you discard the scope and the additional attachments, it's almost a copy of the German Mauser C-96, which was in use by the German army in World War I. The T-21 Light Repeating Blaster, seen here carried by stormtroopers, seems to have a resemblance to the British Lewis gun, particularly in the barrel cover. The Stormtroopers The Stormtroopers were specialist shock troops of the German army in World War I. In the Star Wars universe, they formed the bulk of the Imperial military. They used light armor and a helmet which looks to be a gas mask at the same time. Due to chemical warfare, Gas masks were used extensively throughout the conflict, by all sides, and plate armor saw its last use in warfare during this war, being employed by the German infantry in the trenches and by the cuirassiers of the French cavalry. It's also worth mentioning that some Imperial officer uniforms were based on the uniforms of the SA and the SS, some being light grey for the Imperial fleet and dark for stormtroopers and Imperial pilots. The lightsaber. Pokey religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good blaster at your side, kid. The real life counterpart of the lightsaber would be the non lightsaber, the normal steel bladed saber. They are both designed to engage the enemy in close combat, despite the fact that ranged weapons exist in both scenarios, like blasters and rifles, respectively. The saber was the primary weapon of any cavalryman and it's during the First World War that cavalry charges become obsolete, due to the appearance of rapid-firing rifles and machine guns. These firearms put an end to the debate between the straight and the curved sabre, an age-old question at the time. There were still a few successful engagements in the early war period, made by Indian lancers and Russian Cossacks, but if you look at the Western Front, most cavalry regiments only use their horses for transportation dismounting to fight on foot with rifles in the trenches. In Star Wars, the situation is very similar, with only Darth Vader and Obi-Wan using lightsabers in combat. Imperial troops and other characters are armed with blasters, but, differing from the real-life saber, the lightsaber can deflect ranged shots, which might justify its existence in the film. This is the end of my presentation. If you have ideas of your own about the origins of this film, why not share them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, give me some feedback. See you next time.